Yeah, whatever. Listen, hey, I've got a quick comparison review video for you guys today. These two wrench sets, this one from Carlisle, this one from Mountain. They also sell this under the ATD name, I know. I think they're calling those uh, ATD Platinum. There's a couple other companies out there that rebrand these. As always, check links in the description, Amazon links to buy these. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Helps me out a little bit. I'll uh, give you a quick comparison, talk about what you could use these for, and give you kind of a cautionary tale too. Stay tuned. Okay, so like I made reference to a couple of minutes ago, these are actually essentially, for all intents and purposes, the same wrench set. They are extra long, double box in, flexible ratcheting wrench sets. And both of these are in metric and you might think, well, why do I have two of the same set essentially? Well, I'll get into that a little later on. But just to cover my bases here, this set is from Carlisle. You order that at Napa. They had these on special several months ago now when I bought these. And I already had this set, the mountain set, that you can buy on Amazon. I bought this set on eBay. I bought it used. But they're 8 through 19 millimeter. They also make a set in SAE. Here there are skips at 9 millimeter and 11. And the way that they're set up, you've got one 8 and 10, 12 and 14, 13, 15, 16, 18, and 17 and 19. And these are made in Taiwan by a company called, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Cabo, C-A-B-O. I'll leave a link up here. I think Mark Fox has a video on these sets of wrenches. Mark Fox is like the king of Carlisle. I'm referencing information I heard both from him and his videos and also information I read from other places. So that company in Taiwan, they're the manufacturer for Carlisle, Mountain, like I said, ATD's Platinum line. And these are all very similar wrenches. One, one big difference, these sets are both 90 tooth sets and some of the other ones are 72 tooth. So why would you need a set of wrenches like this? Well, if you've done much mechanic work at all, especially on cars with cramped engine compartments and confined spaces, and you've got mitts the size of mine, it should be self-evident. These are gonna help you to get into tight confines where you might not be able to get a standard length wrench. And there are a few companies who have other variations of this. Tecton comes to mind where they've got like a six point box, box end or a 12 point box end. These are universal, which I prefer. I know some people I've watched reviews, they have issues with these. They say, well, you know, they'll grab onto a fastener. It's not always easy to get them off of the fastener when you're done. But these are so specialized and for confined spaces that that doesn't really bother me. And this is one instance where having the universal gives you a, a lot more options. You might have some odd sized bolt in a really hard to get to place and this is gonna give you the most options to get there. Okay, the other thing I like about this, and this could be a two-edged sword. See this lip here? Now like the Tecton option, it's just flat. They don't have this amount of offset. But this kind of brings me to the reason that I bought this set of mountain wrenches a couple of years ago on eBay. I'd already been through uh, one timing belt job on one Toyota Camry of mine and I knew I was going to have to do another one fairly soon on my newer Camry. And I went through this before with a more minimal tool set and if you've got bolts that are recessed, you're going to want this offset. You're going to want to be able to reach and go and get those fasteners. And if it's just flat like this, you, you can't really do that. So this set is ideally set up if you're doing timing belts on transverse mounted engines, you're up against the side of the engine compartment or the firewall. This is really what you're after. That's just what it's designed to do. It does it very well. So I prefer that to the flatter style like the Tactic. Here's the cautionary part of this. When I bought this mountain set on eBay a couple of years ago, I think I paid around $45. I knew they were used. And uh, the seller disclosed that a couple of them were broken. In fact, I'll try to find the examples of Here at the pivot point, you can see I just took and put a roll pin in there and then kind of 
smoothed it off. And it works. They kind of work themselves out eventually. But when I bought this set, I was under the impression they had a lifetime warranty. And that's kind of the cautionary part. If you go and try to look up Mountain as a company, you're really not going to find anything because they're a house brand. It's something tool retailers buy a select number of, and then they're in charge of providing the warranty themselves. So these advertise lifetime warranty, and if you look at the Amazon listing, they'll tell you that they have a lifetime warranty. What they don't tell you is it's a lifetime warranty through whoever you bought them from. It's not like Gear Ranch or Capri Tools or one of these companies where you deal with the manufacturer. With these wrenches, you don't deal with the manufacturer. You deal with the store you bought them from. So if you buy them through Amazon and you buy them new and they come with a warranty, if you need to warranty them out, you're going to have to contact that, that Amazon retailer. Now, I know that with the ATDs, the Platinums, and even these mountain wrenches, they sell these on tool trucks. Here, by the way, is one that was so badly bent that I, I couldn't repair it. They sell these on tool trucks, and when I contacted the eBay seller to say, hey, who, who do I warranty these from? And he said, well, I just deal with the tool trucks. Well, I'm, like I say a lot of the time, I'm not a professional. I'm a DIYer. I don't have a, anybody on a tool truck I deal with on a routine basis. And I'm not going to try to walk onto a Matco truck or a Mac Tools truck or whoever and try to find somebody selling these and say, hey, can you warranty these for me? Because they're going to ask, well, did you buy them from me? And then of course, I'm going to have to admit, no, I didn't buy them from you. And then they're going to say, well, no, no warranty for you. You know, it's kind of like their take on the soup Nazi or something. Conversely, these wrenches, these Carlisle, this Carlisle set, I have Napa's all around me. I go to Napa fairly frequently. I buy auto parts from there. I buy tools from there. This is their brand. Carlisle is Napa's brand. Now, I've heard rumors People have said, well, they're going to discontinue the Carlisle line, or maybe they're going to slim it down. Maybe they're going to bring in more gear wrench. You know, I've heard all kinds of speculation on that. But the bottom line is they do say Napa on them. And I know from experience that if they say Carlisle or say Napa, Napa's going to warranty them. So that's kind of one of the, one of the pluses, I guess, of dealing with a brick and mortar store all the time and not buying things online. If you develop a relationship with a store owner, they're going to take better care of you. You have that relationship and you spend money with them. So I guess the moral of this story is lifetime warranties are not always as they appear. Sometimes there's just more to it than that. So beware of that when you buy. These are excellent tools. I, I have heard people talk about these a lot, and one of the reasons that they break so frequently is people probably abuse them more than they should. I know Gear Ranch sells a set like this, but one set is a, a fixed box in, and the other set is a flex head ratcheting. I'll probably leave a link for those down in the description, too, for you guys to look at. But I, I wouldn't be trying to put too much torque on these. If you're trying to break loose a, a bolt that's really fast and tight, you're probably better off trying to come up with a better solution with, than these because the, you are going to break wrist pins. And, you know, the best lifetime warranty is the one you never have to use. And if you do have to use it, you don't want it to be because you abused a tool. Just find something else to get the job accomplished. So this might be an example of a tool you look at and think, well, why would somebody need something like that? And if that's you, I don't blame you. Uh, for me, a few years ago, I would have looked at this, these wrenches and thought, ah, nobody needs something that specialized. It's a great example of a tool where once you use it one time and it bails you out, you think, what did I ever do without that? And uh, I forget. I want to say they were on sale first quarter of this year. I believe I paid about... Uh, about $110, $110 or $115. I think this set on Amazon are usually around $130. The ATDs, the Platinums are Platinum XL. They're usually right around that same price. So personal preference, I really, I really like the mountains. I could get them to work at a pinch, but I have the money to upgrade to the brand new set. So hopefully this helps you guys out wanted to add something to the conversation, give you my personal experience on this. Stay tuned, got more videos upcoming.
Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and uh, TTFN.